So now we can see path length, because path length will show you how many paths it took to complete the conversion. So moving beyond the assisted, we now go to the multi-channel. This is a two to three channel path length. So you can see that number one was paid advertising. So that means that the user used paid advertising twice to make the conversion. So if you go down to number eight, you can see an organic search brought the person to the site, but they came back directly because they already knew or bookmarked your website. And if you look on the right, that you can actually change the path length from all, one path, or all the way down to 10 plus. This is important because then you can see beyond the two to three channels how users are actually getting to this conversion. You can also change your dimension on your paths. So instead of it being direct email, you can change it to keyword, your campaign. You can change it to the source and medium. So if you want to know how many people started at Google and maybe use another engine, or if somebody started with direct or cost per click, then you can see that as well. You can also view this by using your AdWords, which is in the menu on the top. And you can see that we went through unavailable, which means there was not an AdWords campaign used, but they got the conversion by coming back through a remarketing effort. Here we put another conversion path with a longer length. We use seven channels. As you can see in number two, they went through a paid search, then they organically searched four more times, then two more paid searches until they converted. As you notice though, with the longer path length, you're not getting the high number of conversions, but you still are getting conversions. If you would like more information on this topic, please call us at 561-620-9682 or email us at info at morevisibility.com.